A 13th century temple, built without modern cement, has survived Odisha's cyclones for 750 years, and engineers still ask how did the builders do it without using iron beams? Gonark Sun Temple was built around 1250 CE by King Narasimhadeva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. It was designed as a colossal stone chariot dedicated to Surya, the sun god, but its real genius lies in its engineering. Instead of iron rods or steel bars, artisans used stone blocks interlocked with a system of dovetail joints, tenon and mortise joints, and precision-cut grooves. This created a self-locking structure capable of bearing massive weight. The stones themselves were carefully selected, condolite for the exterior carvings and more durable laterite and chlorite for internal sections. These stones were shaped to fit so precisely that friction, not metal, held them together. Where metal was necessary, builders used iron clamps and copper plates, but avoided long iron beams that corrode in coastal salt winds. This reduced rust and structural decay. Archaeological studies by the Archaeological Survey of India confirmed that the temple relied primarily on stone-to-stone -stone locking, not iron reinforcement. It was architectural physics, not magic. Today, much of Konark stands in ruins due to centuries of natural erosion and historical damage, yet its core engineering still survives. It's a reminder that 13th century Indian architects didn't just build monuments, they built machines of stone. And their precision remains a mystery modern engineers continue to study.